African Americans are in a state of emergency. And it's not just African Americans who live in the inner cities. It's not just African Americans who are poor. And it's not just African American men. It's all African Americans. It's attorneys like me who live in the suburbs. It's all of our African American children and mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers. The recent murders of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Tiana, Breonna Taylor, and so many others are not isolated incidents. African Americans have been brutalized at the hands of racist mobs and police officers for decades except now it's televised. Now you can see it on TV, you can watch it on social media, you can watch it on YouTube. America watched as a police officer kneeled on the neck of a black man for eight minutes and 46 seconds, killing him. You ask, how did we get here? And I tell you the root of all of this is hatred. Racism and hatred are learned behaviors. Those of us who have children understand that children are born into this world unbiased, loved, filled beings. It's our job to teach them love, to teach them equality, to teach them that racism exists, but under no circumstances should it be tolerated. It's our job together as black people and white people to call out racist behaviors in our inner and outer circles, to, to recognize that systemic racism, which permeates the very structure of our society, exists. And it can be subtle or it can be overt. Systemic racism cloaks itself in legality through legislature, through Congress, through the judiciary, through school boards. Systemic racism results in statistics like these where African Americans are incarcerated at a rate five times the rate of any other race. Where one in three black boys can expect to go to prison in their lifetime. Where African Americans make up only 13% of the US population, yet are 40% of the prison population. Where in the very state of New Jersey where African Americans are 14% of the population, they are 54% of the prison population. Systemic racism results in, in statistics like these where you have children across all age groups. Black students are three times more likely to be suspended from school for the same or similar infractions as their white counterparts. Racist policies, just like racist people, are corrosive to peace and justice. I applaud you for being here and taking the first step. The next step is to speak up and stand up for policies that oppress people of color. To stand up against police officers who brutalize and kill people of color. To have hard conversations with your children about racism and what they can do to stop it. Martin Luther King said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And so together, we have to stand up 